adjust the seat to have where you want. I'm gonna GoPro this because it'd be good to have your. Can you go back? Yeah, you can go back. Yeah. Alright, driving the beast. Driving the beast, as he calls it. It's just like your old car, really. Just there's more shit. Don't worry, my reverse beepers don't work. Far out, mate. Look at how many freaking distractions you've got here. Yeah, just don't. This is a danger. <laughs> this hits this one. Oh, I'm not talking about the elf on the shelf or the uh, the smelly things. There's like a million oh. displays going on. Yeah, elf is just keeping us company. I so, talk to him when I'm driving. I'm tired. What's going on? <laughs> so water tamp. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, what did you end up getting trans temp? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so the bottom right's trans temperature. Oh yeah. 29. Man, that's so good. All right, guys. Well. Um, I'm here with James. He's uh, he's someone I've spoken to for a while in Western Australia. He had a V6 Adventurer, and he recently bought a, a V8 one. And I just wanted to show him kind of because it's the his model V6 is different to this model in the sense it has a couple of more technical advantages, uh, well, electronic advantages, and his one had. So right now he's just driving around like he normally would, like he would have before um, in his SX Adventurer. But today he has a slightly tuned uh, gearbox, I guess, and he also has active select. So right now this is probably how what he had to put up with. But if you switch on active select, oh, yeah. yep, and then you've got your gears on. You're in second now. So if you go down to first and just try and weave your way through this stuff, you'll. So that's gone. Yeah, you can see how it's gone down in first on the dash. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, I might have to take ESP off. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's straight away. Like, yeah. I wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah. Because it would have gone. I'd be sitting there in second. Yeah. Yeah. So is that four second now? Yeah, that's four second now. So even if we go slower. No, it'll go back to one. Really? It, yeah. It will not let you stay in second for too long. But see how that is now? That's, that's still in. That's, see how that's laboring? Yeah. Before, I mean, we're getting pretty. It's hard now. Yeah, we want to find something real soft and like, you know, how you're coming down almost to a complete stop and you. Yeah. You're in first now. Let's go back to that soft bit. So the issue I was having with the SX, I didn't even realize, but I- Go through, through that, you know that little shit section? Yeah, yeah, through the rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, um, Don't worry, you can punish the car, the car's I very- I to this. Oh man, that's so nice. This active selectors, that is a game changer. It hey. is a game changer. It's one of those things that you can't, I can't explain oh how much God. it makes a difference, the V6. Yeah, you can anticipate the section. You can. And it's like you, when you know something's going to come up, you can pre-plan. Like for me, like Callum's like, oh, it's getting a bit soft. I might back down a second. Yeah, exactly. But I think you'll find, and naturally, this actually has a little bit more torque too. Even yeah. Though. Yeah. Just, How much do you reckon? Maybe like 10%? I don't know. I've never dynoed it to actually find out. Yeah. But, I mean, that could be an interesting thing because I have another V6 we can dyno both. It's got to find a workshop to do it for free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> for, that's it. For a sponsorship. Because I'm curious to know what type of power torque numbers we have in this compared to a standard one. It's also so hard to compare, like... Oh, there's so many variables. Yeah. You know, tyres, pressures, age of the car, history. Oh, man, these buttons feel so good. <laughs> Even like this, for example, so we're coming up. The ability to do that yeah. is not something. I'd be back in L, but we'd be like, it's just sitting in second, struggling. To have that torque on tap. So what, the V8s don't have that at all. Yeah. No. Yeah, this is, that for off-roading, man, that's is this, so helpful. Because I did, we wheeled the V8, you remember the silver V8, first off-road on our channel? Uh, yeah. We had yeah. a V8 at the start, and it's weird, because when I came, when I went from the V8 to this, I found, I found, yeah, it's kind of weird. You, if you're driving in D, you, you have suddenly a lack of torque when you want it, but I think it's more gearing than anything, and I think the five-speed what is what kind of takes up the loss you have in the V8 torque because you, you will you do have it and you have such a big range like you're at 4,000 you can keep going at 5,000 like you know what I mean it's and you have control in, in that first in the sand it doesn't feel like there's heaps of torque difference but it's definitely something different 
like it, it, it floats better because yeah. it's got that bit more. Yeah. And just that, that is something that's so helpful. Just keep the revs up. Oh, I'm such like conflicted now between yeah, the Yeah, I knew you would be after. Because <laughs> <laughs> like that, that is the problem that was really giving me the shits with the six. I just could not solve that. Yeah. Nice. Ventures are just a wondrous thing. And the V6 and V8 well, it's, it's, it's not just an engine difference. Yeah, that is huge. And also just for trans temps too, because if the if the torque converter is not having to work so hard because your your revs are higher and it's already hit that like sort of top limit. Yeah. So. Well, with with my trans fan mod, I don't think I have ever seen trans in the sand this trip more than maybe seventy. Yeah. So and people are saying ninety is about where they see it. Yeah. Um, 70, 72 I think is the the switch temperature, which is what they want, the GM recommends running temp to be at. Yeah. So it's within. Your uh, water temp's 100. So typically I'd be like sitting, I'd have that over fan override and it's usually sitting anywhere from like sort of. Yeah, we put my fan override on. High 90s. It'll give us an SVS temporarily because it doesn't understand what's going on, but. Yeah. You'll watch that will go down pretty quickly for some reason. I don't know, I can't see how it goes down so quickly, it just does. Yeah, straight away, it's 97 and 96. It just drops. Yeah. It's crazy. And just having that there, just to know what the hell's going on is... Yeah, it's so helpful. It's really helpful. Does that suck air through your trans cooler as it well? As well, yeah, so it's like a sec, it's like an additional. Yeah, man, that active select, like, more or less, if you want to go off-roading in a venture, get the... Get the LX, isn't it? Or CX, you know, CX or LX. Oh, they have it too. Yeah. Yeah. Just SX, it's true poverty pack the SX got. It was literally executive with all the gear, but missing electronics. But the, the crazy thing to me is it's it's in the computer. Yeah. It, it's, it's not a mechanical limitation, it's a computer limitation. So it's weird to me they didn't just... So I guess they just wanted to, people to buy the CX more than the SX. Oh, was that was it. Yeah. yeah. Can you swap, swap the... Not sure, that's a yeah. that's an early question. Also just like the amount of effort required versus just saving a bit more cash and buying an Alex. With this with that has all the sweet stuff anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I've done a lot of small things that it's it's just hard to know what actually has done something and what hasn't, and I wouldn't be able to tell that. Only someone who's in the car. Let's do this um throttle thing then. Oh yeah yeah so what is it on now? E3. So press uh, mode. Yeah. And go so what's it on now? U0. Yeah go again. So it's flat. AC. Then again. Yep so this is normal so that'd be line line. This would be normal throttle for it. Yeah that feels like my car. Just like a stock adventure right? Yeah. So in in I use E whatever generally E3. Yeah. On E3. Sand, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. But if you go to, if you then go to U... Zero. No, nah, okay, press the other button on the zero till it gets to, say, eight. Yeah. Yeah, now I'll drive around. Get to all the different straight away. Probably in first gear. Oh, wow. Whoa, that's really touchy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's... See how jagged the driving yeah. feels? Where when you go to E, it looks like you're in like so much more control. Yeah, you can't you can't feather the throttle like at all. It's, it's either on or off. But on the road, it's 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 go. Yeah. You know? Interesting. And that's why I drive generally in E3, yeah, between E3 and E5, and that's my go-to on the sand. I find that's sensible. That means that if I come up to anything in the sand, I can floor it, and I can guarantee cross tracks are going to stay active. Yeah. There's no way it doesn't. You know, it brings me up to my torque. Remember that curve you were drawing yesterday? It's very similar. Yeah. It's Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely makes a difference. I feel like the stock one is not too bad though. Like I, yeah, I feel like I never really had I it. think I think it's more better I think it's a more useful tool in, in um in 
what you do. Yeah, what it? we do in high country. Yeah. Just because of the rocks and we're going up stuff, we want to keep a constant rolling speed. But we want the bumps to affect my pedal movement. Yeah. It's more than any, more than any. Yeah, because you guys are getting rocked around so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. There's a lot of four drives we're just driving what you're doing now. We just get stuck. Yeah, for sure. It's crazy. Like, like what we did before. Yeah. Now some people would just be driving like this um, in their four-wheel drive and they'll be on their belly straight away. They just don't. Like this. Someone's going to be like, what? what? Well, why are they why going they here? <laughs> why have they done this? Yeah, considering that, I'm pretty sure that patrol owner got stuck here yesterday trying to get up this thing. And we've just gone sideways across it. Yeah, I think if you guys go to Kennedy's, I think it should be pretty fun. What's at Kennedy's? Uh, there's the, um... That's the true track. There's the true track, yeah. yeah. Come back. So yeah. just Do you hear that? Yeah. Do you hear that in yours? Yeah. I've, I, I legit have not lifted a tyre yet. Okay. I've, it's that new. Like, I've only had the car for such a short period of time. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's how you know true track's working. But does it, how long does it take before? I it... haven't done enough video testing to figure this all out. Yeah. Uh, that is a question I have too. Like, how long does it take before? starts doing I think it's to do with the brakes you need cross track to engage yeah and then the torsen locks up and then you get your your split off to the other wheel yeah and then when you're hearing that noise that's when the split off's happening and it gradually gets stronger and stronger I've noticed as in yeah yeah so if I wind it up slowly so like it needs to E5 yeah it's, it, it will even though my one when the air is spinning faster than the one that's got traction yeah. the one that's got traction still going so you're inching forward slowly 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 until you get good traction and then you go uh, okay because that track, that 11 mile track, is gonna really test that um, true track out. Because it's just an uphill um, sand crossed articulated section. Yeah. And so it's a lot of wheel spin, unless you've got lockers. It, to be honest, it's potentially impossible without lockers. Like I feel like that. It, I feel like it will be, but it'd be interesting to see. I just want to see what you're what you're trying to say, so I can understand you will show you that video when you get back to camp there's a one guy took a drone video of some patrols climbing it yeah and i mean they're fully at, at articulating full, flexing full, yeah full droop yeah. full full um compression well i have clearance when i'm in at, 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 at all point like in terms of the bottom of my car do. yeah i mean i've driven down it okay and, and had no issues i okay. i actually got bogged going down it um because i got stuck in a hole yeah that was a weird thing to like dig a car out on the deep. <laughs> <laughs> Going down. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure how popular it will be for what we've just done to that section, but. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm sure. <laughs> if you're watching this video and you come through tomorrow on New Year's, e uh, New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, um, it was for testing purposes. <laughs> yeah, just. just uh, I laugh at what you did there, and this guy comes through and he gets to. <laughs> Patrol. Oh, that was in drive too. No. Oh, yeah, because when we have to reverse, went back to D, you would have lost it. Oh, right. Yeah, that's the one annoying thing. If you're an active select, you go to reverse, you go back to drive, you lose your active selectness, you re-trigger it. Very yeah. annoying. I'm just so used to driving it in, <laughs> in, in, in automatic now. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, you just, you get... Like my my uh, anticipation was like flooring it to get it into first and then like hoping that it wouldn't drop back to second. I just can't believe how white the sand is here. Mm. Especially up at Vicky, hey? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Vicky, up at Arid. Yeah. Yesterday, where that, and it's powdery. Yeah, yours like is snow. powdery. Ours is very grainy. I sort of miss the V6 to be honest. It's just the way it drives. The V8 is so different. Yeah, they're different cars. I like I, I V8 daily and I love it. Like I can't get over it. But off-road, I've driven both. 
I, I just, it does need more power. I still think that the V6 needs a little bit more power. So that's yeah. why I think the cam's going to do it for me. Yeah. Even if it gives me 20%, that'd be amazing. 10%, awesome. And the, the good thing is too, the green switch stays on for 10 minutes and then it turns off automatically even if I don't turn it off. Oh, sweet. Is it like a time relay or something? Well, the car's got a time relay automatically in it. Ah, uh, for so the ignition. Yeah, so it will auto turn off. But it's good if I stop and things are warm, it's going to cool it down anyway. Yeah. So when I start again, so it's it's pretty handy. Otherwise, yeah, just turn it off. And the override or the thermo. Is that the blue? Yeah. Done. Easy. Yeah, I think I found towing in sand. The V6 was starting to struggle yeah. a bit. And that's what I want a little bit of power for. But I think you'll like the V8 though. You've yeah. just got to. I just it's want just a different way to tire it, and well, at least L is L in the V8, <laughs> right? I <laughs> like active select. <laughs> mm. Um, and I want to put some spring spaces in the back because it's a little bit low in the back. Um, but apart from that, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. And get Callan's exhaust. It's so quiet, and it'll always sound better. Yeah. Yeah. But the fuel savings, I think, with the V6, with the cam, will be better than the stock V8. And I think the power and torque will be fairly equivalent. This is from what, what I've heard. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Because mm. I'm doing it, and it's a bit of a project, so... Oh, well, at least you got to finally drive it before yeah. I wrote it off, one day. Oh, man. <laughs> Cheers. I'm glad the chassis hasn't snapped off yet, and I actually had the chance to, uh, to give it a crack. This is awesome. It's just crazy to see something you see on TV all the time, and then like, but there is so much more shit going on here, going on than the than through the videos. Yeah. Like, there's voltmeters everywhere. You got all these hidden thermo switches. Everything's just really well set up for for this stuff. Well, I've got to be able to access everything easily while I'm off roading. Yeah. So, but um, I reckon it'd be good, Ronnie Dahl, if you're watching. A modified episode in this car, I reckon it would be something. There's a lot of detail to talk about. I reckon there would be. <laughs>